plaintiff, Shaquanda Hall, says she's known the defendant since high school, and they became close once she started dating Shaquanda's cousin. Shaquanda claims she treated the defendant like family and subleased her home to her cousin, the defendant, and her three kids, but she's suing because they failed to pay rent. Defendant Tiara Tell says Shaquanda is nothing but a bully who likes to fight, so much so that she even tried to be on the bad girls club. Tiara's countersuing for emotional distress because Shaquanda belittled and degraded her. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Hey, I've known the defendant Tiara since high school. Um, at How old are you now? I'm 24. Okay. Yeah, she looks like she's in high school. <laughs> That's why I asked. Thank you. Well, she hasn't known me that long. Three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, at that time, we weren't friends. Um, I see her around the neighborhood. We never spoke. Um, she didn't seem like a very approachable person. So, you know, we kind of did our own thing. Um, however, in 2014, she started dating my cousin. Um, they had two kids together, and my family kind of um, took her in um, as a family member. Um, Barely. She kind of confided in us at that time, let us know that her childhood wasn't that great. Her family wasn't that supportive um, of her. How did it go uh, with the family? Uh, well, I mean, we took her in. She was. Mm -hmm. She came to all the gatherings. She was one of us. I mean, okay, she's a family member. Everything was fine. Yes. She didn't start any drama. No. Uh, okay, we kind of found out that she wasn't. She was lazy. You know, she didn't keep a job. She keep. A, she have a job one second, and then, you know, the next second she wouldn't have a job. How many jobs over what course of time? Um, that I know of, two. Over the course of what time? The uh, two years, two years that I've known her. I don't know how long she was dating my cousin, but she didn't. All right, let me get some background from you. Yes, like the defendant said, I met her through her cousin, and she is lying about everything. I haven't known her since high school. She's a bully. That's all she likes to do is fight. She even tried out for a bad girls club and was mad that she didn't, you know, get casted to it. She just trying to make me feel like I'm less than what I am, and that is that. She. All right. You moved in with the family? No, I didn't move in with their family. Okay. Her family. Only your boyfriend? You've never stayed with anyone outside of him? No. Related to them? No. Okay. I mean, I went to family gatherings, but yeah. that was Never lived with them? Huh? Never lived no, with No, never them. lived with any of them. She lived with my cousin's dad, and she also lived with the defendant. I mean, my witness here, which is... Your witness? This I, is my cousin. I never this lived is her with her. Cousin? Okay. Yes. Never lived with her. Nice. Yes. All right. <laughs> and two jobs in two years, she says? Okay, well, I do hair, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. I was making money doing that. That's not, I don't, you know, work out okay. of salon. I was working out of my home. That's how I made money. But as an on paper and employment on a resume, no, I've worked at okay, Walmart. Okay, so for... you've worked and you've been uh, yes, financially Yes, and I've been doing hair since I was 14. I've been making okay, money. Okay, you're financially since... independent. Good. So yes. if she wins, you'll be able to pay, right? If, if you've done wins, all this, you're so good. Wins. Now, I've made everything got since I was 14. Good. I am so glad to hear that. <laughs> so we can get back to her. Let's hear from you on this rant. Yes, Your Honor. Um, June 2016, I decided to move out of my home. Um, I had six months left on my lease, so I decided to sublease it. At that time, I had family members in my ear stating that I should sublease to the defendant, Tiara, because she didn't have a place, a stable place to live for her and her children. Um, I was against it because she's not stable. Uh, what about your cousin, her, uh, the father of the children? What about him? <laughs> what do you mean? So you keep talking about her and she don't because have a he's, stable he's not... place? She had to move with you all? That's Let, what why, why didn't I hear you say, <laughs> why didn't I hear you also say, yeah, my cousin won't give her any money, Your Honor. My cousin is a deadbeat dad and he won't okay. take care of his kids or pay child support. And so that's why she's unstable, Your Honor. And she didn't have money, Your Honor, because he isn't paying his. That's what about? Did that's... he pay his share? Yes. Okay, My so cousin, hold on. Yes. After paying his share, his share is so little, mm -hmm. she had no place <laughs> to stay. Tell your cousin to get a better job. All right, let's move on to the rent. <laughs> okay, so they moved into the home with six months left on my lease. The first three months went fine. Uh, they paid the rent. Uh, oh, he went too? Yes. <laughs> He's living with her and couldn't afford her and his own kids. Go ahead. Okay, so they they would. Where's he at? <laughs> you don't know. Disappeared from his kids, and you have no idea. Yet you coming down on her like she's the wicked, negligent mother. Yeah, you, you got a deadbeat cousin that you don't even know where he's at. 
yet he lived under the same roof that you're suing her for. Yeah. Good enough. Go ahead. The agreement was between me and Tierra. Also for the benefit of your cousin. Right. And his children. Right. Let's not leave that out. Yeah. You keep trying I mean, to separate him. There's no separation, he's not a baby. Person. They're together, baby. <laughs> <laughs> They're together yeah. with those kids. <laughs> and if she's irresponsible, he's even worse. Historically, the father has the responsibility of providing, even more so than the mother. A lot of times, the mother stays home to nurture and take care. So perhaps those two jobs and those two years, she's taking care of those children. Yeah. I was. And he need, she needed your cousin yeah. <laughs> to provide. <laughs> All right, what was the agreement? For what months and what did she fail to pay? The agreement was for her to... Um, finished out the remainder of my lease of six months. How much per month? $750 a month. Mm -hmm. um, she paid the first three months, uh, June through August, and then the rest, September through November, uh, was not paid. Yes, like the defendant said, I met her through her cousin, and she is lying about everything. I haven't known her since high school. She's a bully. That's all she likes to do is fight. She even tried out for a bad girls club and was mad that she didn't, you know, get cast into it. Plaintiff Shaquanda Hall is suing her cousin's ex-girlfriend. And she claims Shaquanda is nothing but a bully who likes to fight. Did you ever speak to your cousin about his share? I did. Or any of it? Yes, I did. What did he say? Um, he said that they broke up because they broke up and he moved out. So he wasn't... He didn't move out until we... Hold on. Before that, did you ever speak with him? When you weren't getting your rent all those months and you knew your cousin was the man in the household, did you ever say to him, Cause I didn't know. You and your family are living in my home, and you won't pay me. <laughs> What's up, cuz? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that the rent and bills were not being paid until the end of October. You knew you weren't getting your money? I, they weren't paying it to me. They were paying it to the office. So I didn't know. I, had, I Okay, was, so when that happened? At the end of October, uh -huh. when she contacted me via... No, Facebook. him. Him. What did you say to him at the end of October when you did discover? I mean, I asked him about it, and he said that he was not living there. They broke up. I mean, the agreement was not between me and him. I, I That's know, why I, I know, I know that. You told me that. Is. You told me that. Yes. My question was, what did you say to him? You say asked him for it? No. You didn't ask no, him. No, because I'm the type of person he is. I'm the, I would not have entered into an agreement. But you believe with he him. probably was responsible for some of it, huh? I mean,. Yeah, I mean, okay, as so we're gonna sue her for half, couple. and you catch up with him, you get that other half. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> what do you say? What do you say to the rent, ma'am? Yes, for, we had an for agreement. The three months, huh? But I let her know when I lost my job mm -hmm. at Walmart that I was gonna pay her when I could, and that he would pay the you know pay the rent until I found a job. He was doing whatever he wanted to do with that, and I let her know that. And she still, you know. I know. We know what just happened. His cousin <laughs> wants to sue you and yes. let him off the hook. Yes. Uh, got so it. So him I'm not going to, though. That's the good news. How much is half of that? Twelve seventy. Because you agreed to pay, but I'm going to only uh, uh, grant her a judgment for your half. And your counterclaim for emotional distress is for what? Because she she bashed me, she belittled me. When I told her my situation at, at hand, um, my living situation, that I have kids to take care of, I'm looking for work, she didn't care about that. She just feel like she's better than me, talking about something I'm never gonna be nothing in life, and that even when I do get assistance and the help, I'm still not gonna be nothing than what I am on the bottom of her shoe. What did you say? I agreed with her, like, okay, yes, you know. You agreed that you weren't gonna be anything. Just so she wouldn't see the emotional, you know, I wasn't trying to feed into it. She feel like she's better than me. Okay, I'm gonna give you that. I mm -hmm. feed off of that. I've been, you know, bashed all my life saying I'm not gonna be nothing. I'm used to it. So the fact that she said all that stuff, that okay. That motivates you to Yes, it motivates me. People laughing at me motivates me because so I proved them wrong doing? every time. What have you been doing with that motivation? I, well, I put myself in school. I'm in okay. school now. I, I work at FedEx now. Good. I'm taking care of my kids. I'm in the process of having my own home under my name. Good. I'm doing a lot. I have a lot going Good. for myself. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of women have to do uh, when the... Uh, um, dead be dad disappears uh, and tells the person their relative 
who they owe. Uh, I ain't got to do with it. And the relative says, you're right. You get a pass. You're only the man of the household. I just go after her and them yeah. kids. You're doing what most people have to do, or many women. And yeah. you're raising the kids alone. You're working and going to school. So congratulations to you. You're probably doing more than any of these people. Is she raising oh, her you. kids alone? No. Does she have kids she's raising alone? She has more support than I Is she in school and working? You're doing better than her. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff, 1,275. Can't give you emotional distress for people talking against you. Use that as motivation as you have. You'll be past her very soon. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. bash this woman. I wish her the best of luck. She's a mother. You didn't children. bash me on Facebook? No, I didn't. You, you didn't I was bash laughing me? I'm... at the fact that you're full of it. Like... You're, you're laughing at the fact that I'm in the shelter, right? No, that I have nothing? That, that, I'm, that I'm struggling to take care of my person. kids? Okay. I'm a single You're laughing mother, with this so proof. Everyone struggles. Mm -hmm. like, you but you have more support than I do. Okay. Support has but to do what did you say on the phone? What did you say on the phone? What did you say on the phone? What did I say? Exactly. Okay.